Where's the rest of you? Breaking your ally wasn't very challenging. Op for last stop standing. You have entered an enemy controlled area. Leave now. Op 4 eliminated. Mission successful. What is going on guys, Narcoleptic Nugget here. So I know the Skull Rain DLC only dropped on August 2nd, but in that short period of time since release, I've already played so much Siege. Like looking back at it, it's probably been like an unhealthy amount, but whatever, my loss can be your gain. Because in the many hours that I've been playing the new Skull Rain DLC, I've been able to learn the new operators pretty well. And so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the new operator Kavira, as well as my Kavira tips and tricks, so you can spend less time learning how to play her and more time dominating with her. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So for those of you new to the Skull Rain content, Kavira is the new defensive operator brought in with the DLC. So her primary gadget is not really a gadget at all. What she can do is she can use Silent Step, which allows her to walk around the map with extremely reduced footstep noises. Well actually not just walk, but she can actually run while using this ability as well. And what differentiates Silent Step as like a gadget more so than a perk on Call of Duty is that it does have a cooldown. Um, when you turn it on, it, it'll, you'll see it in your bar that it drains as you use it, and then when you're not using it, it kind of refills. But if you use it at the right times, you're never really going to find yourself not being able to use Silent Step when you need it. Anyways, the most important thing about Kavira and the reason why she is so unique is her ability to do interrogations. So she can actually go up to any enemy that is downed and perform an interrogation, which takes about a second and a half to two seconds. And from that, she kills the enemy that is downed, obviously but also reveals their teammates for about 10 seconds. And you might be thinking, well, how often can she purposely down someone? Well, that's where her pistol comes in. So when you look at her pistol, her pistol will always come with a custom silencer on it. You can't detach it, it's just there. But what you'll also notice is that her damage on her pistol is 99. And if you're anything like me, then you're like, what the hell, why does her pistol do so much damage? Well, yeah, it hits like a truck, but it's designed to down the enemy first. So although it has 99 damage, you can still consistently shoot an enemy and down them so that you can interrogate them prior to killing them. Keep in mind that if you do shoot the enemy while they are downed, even with the pistol, it will kill them. So if you're going for the interrogation and you need that, then don't get too trigger happy. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first started using this pistol, I was like, holy shit, this thing is strong. And, you know, at first I thought it was a bit too strong because I was running up on people you know, shooting them once or twice, putting them in the down state, and then killing them before they could even react. But what I came to learn, and I'm really glad that Ubisoft did this, is that they made the damage drop off for the handgun extremely high. So although it does 99 damage at close range, it really doesn't do much at, at when the person's far away. So as I kept playing, I realized that, yeah, this pistol is super strong at close range, but with the damage drop off, it's still pretty fair. So all in all, when I first heard about Kavira, I was like really excited, but also I was a bit hesitant and I had my doubts as to how she was gonna fit into the game because I felt like her ability was like almost like a supernatural superpower. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't really a gadget like everyone we've seen so far. Um, it was kind of like, oh, she can like walk quietly. That's kind of overpowered and unrealistic, but in the end, she's a really fun operator, and I'm really glad that they brought her into the game. It's an innovative way to mix things up, but keep things, you know, still feeling like Rainbow Six Siege. And with all that out of the way, let me share with you guys my tips to dominating with Kavira. And my first tip is roam like there's no tomorrow. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who disagree with roaming and feel like everyone should kind of be near the room and defend it. But I honestly believe that that's kind of like an old, kind of vanilla Rainbow Six way of thinking. Yes, when Rainbow Six first came out, probably the most effective way that people, you know, worked together was everyone kind of hovers near the room and they lock it down and so on and so on. But the way things have evolved, there's just so many, like, endless strategies for Rainbow Six and on any of the maps. And I feel like roaming is a key to most of the top strategies. Now, I'm definitely not saying that the whole defensive team should roam. By no means am I saying that. But definitely when one or two people on the defensive team roam, it makes it much harder for the attackers to do whatever they planned on doing while having to worry about people around the map, not just the ones in the objective. And that is where Kavira comes in. She is by far the best roamer in Rainbow Six. Now, this is coming from someone who roams a lot. Like... My top roamer probably was Pulse or Jaeger previously, but Kavira blows them out of the water. And so that's my first tip. And although it sounds simple, it's really effective. When you play Kavira, roam. 
be in that hiding spot that no one expects you to be in the randomest places and just be there and be ready when you get an enemy that's on their own or just someone you know running through the part of the map where they don't expect someone to be that's when you strike that's when you knock them down you interrogate them and then you move forward now i'm showing you guys on the screen right now what i like to do and you guys might think this is a troll but i'm dead serious so what i like to do is i i like to go to a random window on the main floor i never go to one that where you have to repel in usually but on the main floor, far away from the objective where they don't think an enemy's gonna be. And I lie down beside the window. And you might be thinking, you know, who's gonna fall for that? But honestly, as long as I haven't been droned out, no one's ever known that I was on the other side of the window. They always just break it and run in. And the key to this is going to a random window not near the objective when the people aren't worried about having enemies there even if there are two enemies out there wait for the second enemy to come in don't worry the first one probably won't look behind and see you so just wait there and then when you have everyone you know accounted for then you can proceed to stand up you know kill them interrogate them whatever you want to do and make a nice clip out of it which leads me into my next tip when to interrogate now when you start playing Kavira, you're going to be tempted to just interrogate everyone oh shit look someone's down i'm going to go interrogate them like you know slow your roll yes her ability is super useful and fun to use but you got to know when to use it and as much as i want to give you guys you know specific guidelines on on when to interrogate and when to not i can't really because you kind of have to play it by ear and see you know every situation is different i've heard other people and you know youtubers say that you know once you down someone don't interrogate them right away you know look around make sure everything's clear but in personally like yes that's correct you know do that sometimes but sometimes you down someone and it's like a crucial moment that if you just interrogate them right away you'll have enough time to quickly like really fast interrogate them find out where the next guy is kill them you know and clutch around or something like that so you kind of have to play it by ear it's not always you know down them wait a, wait a bit you know look around sometimes you down them interrogate them right away sometimes you don't you just kind of have to, to go with the flow as you play more games you'll learn when it is and when it isn't a good time to interrogate someone now when it comes to her silent step ability you pretty much always Always want to be using it whenever you're running around the map during the middle of the round you know what I mean obviously at the beginning of the round it doesn't really matter but when it's you know the rounds going make sure you're using silent step when you're running around and so how I like to make sure that I always have that ability you know there to be able to use is that I move in spurts so what I do is I hide somewhere and when I want to move somewhere else I just turn on silent step run there turn it off and then wait again for it to refill and it just rinse and repeat you want to make sure that while you're roaming and when you're running around you pretty much want to have silent step on at all times just in case if you run into someone either when you expect them or when you don't you'll have the jump on them because they can't hear you when it comes to choosing Cavera's loadout and you know choosing her primary weapon specifically um, what you have to consider is nothing you know choose her shotgun that's that's your only decision don't don't use her other one just just don't no okay I'm, I'm kidding but honestly no her shotgun is amazing and it works so well with her handgun when you want to take care of one enemy whether at long range or close range i use the pistol and when you know that a room is full of enemies and you're gonna have to clear them all out at once then i just switch to the shotgun and you know do what you got to do as well her shotgun comes in handy because you can destroy the roof panels or floor hatches whatever you want to call them um you know where her submachine gun wouldn't be able to do that it's nice to be able to destroy hatches, you know, when you need to escape a room, when you're kind of pinned down, or simply to just, you know, destroy them and move around the map more unpredictably. But honestly, like, between her handgun and her shotgun, I don't see much use for her submachine gun. You can't put an ACOG on it, so it's not better at long range. Honestly, just use the handgun, use the shotgun, in my opinion. Um, and you can be like extremely versatile with those. This loadout brings me to my next tip, which is try to close gaps as much as possible prior to engaging. So what I mean by that is when you're sneaking up on someone while you're roaming, try not to fire your pistol when you're far away. Get as close as you can, you know, utilize that silent step, utilize the fact that they can't hear you, run up as close as you can, and then one shot or two shots to the torso will put them in the down state and you know go from there but definitely close gaps prior to firing your weapon i highly suggest equipping her c4 um, for a variety of reasons obviously you know when there's a shield you want to be able to have a c4 just to make it easier to kill them but while you're roaming you know you roam so much with kavira that you find yourself in many situations where you're almost you know behind the enemy team 
and there's like a group of them and it's a beautiful thing when you when you sneak up on a group of three enemies all pushed together and you just put your c4 in between them and blow them all up you know what i mean so it's always handy to have that c4 and i highly suggest using it also when you get an interrogation off and someone's on the roof it's always nice to have that c4 so you can run outside throw it up there and get an extra kill but my last and final tip for you guys is simply be patient. Kavira is not the type of character, in my opinion, to sit in the room and, you know, camp the room, simply because her weapons and her abilities aren't very useful in that in that scenario. Nor do I feel she's the type of character to, you know, spawn peek and be extremely aggressive. She's kind of in the middle of the road here. Choose your battles carefully and honestly play weird. Be unorthodox. Go in weird places. Hide in the weirdest of weird places and just catch enemies by surprise. Interrogate them. Be useful for your team that way. Honestly, she excels at roaming, and I know I've said it so many times, but it's true. If you catch someone off guard and interrogate it, you know, interrogate them, sorry, it lets your whole team know for like 10 solid seconds or whatever where everyone is, and it's just such a game-changing ability that when you use it right, it's just so hard to defend against. But that pretty much concludes my Kavira video. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be making a Capiteo video extremely soon, probably within a day, so stay tuned for that. But once again, guys, thank you for watching, and good luck sieging.